Okay, we're going back to basics today. What is the number one first thing you need to do if you wanna write a book? We're gonna cover it, so stick around. My name's Kelly Notaris. I'm the founder of KN Literary Arts. We are your one-stop shop, getting you from wherever you are to having a book in your hand. So please visit us at knliterary.com. I also bring over 24 years of publishing experience to this YouTube channel for free. So please hit the subscribe button and that little bell icon so you never miss a video. All right, today I wanna to talk to you about the number one first step you need to take if you want to write a book. But I have to tell you, I'm gonna tell you two different steps. Why is that? Because I have discovered in 24 years of working with authors every single day that there are really two different kinds of authors. And I wanna give the first step for either of those kinds of authors in case you're one or the other. So as you listen to this video, please note in the comments which type you are. So the very first type of, of author that I need to talk to, if they're asking me, what's the first step if I wanna get a book in the world? They are the ones who need to hear your first step is to start writing, okay? To start writing right now. Now, why is that? Because a lot of times people have this desire or life is sending them this message, hey, you need to put a book in the world, but they honestly don't know where to start and they might not even exactly know what kind of book it is. I encounter people all the time who wonder, am I writing my own story or am I fictionalizing it and writing a novel? I mean, that right there is a question you're going to need to digest through writing. I want you to, to set aside time every single day to just start writing. And I wanna give you a very low barrier to entry way to do that. And so that's to start thinking about it as journaling rather than writing your book. Our brains get a little fuzzy when we think, oh, I have to sit down and write my book today. Because what if we actually don't know what book we wanna write? What if we're not sure about it yet? What if we have multiple ideas? It can be very uh, difficult to get started if you are holding that idea that you're writing your book. But if you just say, today, I'm gonna start journaling, and you do some exploratory journaling. I wanna write a book about dot, 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 and just start writing using that sentence starter. Or I would like to write a book to blah, dot, 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 maybe to help people, maybe to uh, build my business, maybe to have a creative outlet. I don't know why it is that you wanna write a book, but really starting to explore those questions. Out of those exploratory writings, you will start to see themes emerge uh, that will tell you about what it is that you're writing and what your why is, what your motivation is. And as I say in my book, the book you were born to write, sitting back there on the shelf behind, me. Chapter two is all about motivation. Why do I start with that? Because writing a book is a long haul and you're going to have to be doing a lot of writing to get there. So for that, that writing practice just starts to build over time and you really start to trust yourself as a writer and you know, hey, when the time comes and I know exactly what I want to write, then I'm going to be able to do it because I know I'm a writer. The only thing you need to know in order to call yourself a writer is that you're writing. So please, for this is for group number one who, who needs to be writing first. Please set aside 15 minutes most days a week and write. Try to do that for three or more months and you will start to see momentum. I know it might sound like a long time and maybe you want to write more than that and that's great. But if you're having trouble getting started and you're not sure what book you're writing, please be doing doing exploratory journaling on the daily and you will start to see themes emerge that will help you point toward the next step on your journey. Okay, so that's people number one group. Do you identify with that? Does that sound like the right place for you to start? Maybe. There are other people over here who already know the book they want to write. They are very clear. Maybe you tend to be a more organized person just by your nature. Maybe you have a very specific goal that you want to reach with this book. It's super important that you get this methodology you've been working on for 20 years out into the world. Or you know you need to get your story written because you want your grandkids to have all the details of what their cool grandma's life was about, okay? So you know what you're writing. If that is you, the place to start as far as I'm concerned, is with an outline. Because an outline helps you to move around all the different parts that, of things that you wanna write about. And do I wanna write this? Do I wanna write this? But it gets it all into a line. When you are done with your outline, you have a step-by-step -step process for writing the book. Because each of the bullet points on your outline is like a mini homework assignment that you can just sit down and write. Again, as I said earlier, sitting down to a blank page with the 
idea or goal that you're going to write your book today is a great way to not be writing. <laughs> it can be overwhelming. It can like it like short circuit your brain. It's too big a project to sit down without some sort of guidance. So instead, I want you to create that outline that gives you a place to start every single day you sit down. You no longer are sitting down with this enormous idea, I need to write my book. Instead, you're sitting down and you're looking at your outline and you say, I'm going to write the story that I want to start chapter four. I'm going to write the exercise that's going to come at the end of chapter six, or I'm going to write the scene where this character meets this character because it's already all written down in your outline. Now, I've given you both of those starting places. It is truly the first step to either start writing or create an outline. And some people will know, oh, that is what I want to do. And other people will know, nope, I just need to be doing the exploratory writing. Whichever one you are, please let us know in the comments. Know that that is truly the best place to start. Either of these will work great as your first step. But the most important thing is that you actually get started. So please, we're leaving down below a link to our outline template which will help you if you're an outliner, <laughs> and also to our writing prompts, which will help you if you are a writing starter. Regardless, I hope this helps you take that first step toward getting your book in the world. Just know that we at KN Literary are so in support of you doing exactly what life is asking you to do. Write that book, get it into the world, share your story and your wisdom. So please don't hesitate to sign up for a call with one of our publishing consultants. It's always free and always no obligation. And if otherwise, you know, if you feel like you're going to hit the ground running with one or the other of these different items, please let us know in the comments below which one sounds most resonant to you. We will be very curious to hear. All right. Wishing you all good things and happy writing.